Let's take a look at H2R Layouts, the app, and how you can connect straight to your Blackmagic Design ATEM and control the super source on that ATEM. Now I have the app here installed and running on my Mac. And on the other side here, I have the super source that's actually coming from my ATEM Mini Extreme. I've just added this little graphic here to make my point. But this is the USB output coming into my Mac so I can take a look at the super source. Now, first of all, in the app, you want to add layouts. There are a few layouts already added to the app just so you have somewhere to start. And you're able to import more via some purchased packs if you want to purchase those, or you can build your own on the website. In fact, I've just created this classic one here where I have you know, two presenters and maybe they're sharing a screen. So I can build that out, scroll down and just copy that as a macro. I'll move the website out of the way for a second and just paste that macro into the app, hit confirm, and you can see that layout has now made its way into the app. I can rename it if I want, or I can reorder these if I want. I'll just leave it where it is. The next step, I have the ATEM Mini Extreme on my network, and it's the same network this computer is attached to. So I actually wanna open up the ATEM setup tool just to double check what the IP address is of the ATEM. And I can just copy that and then close this window out of the way and paste that IP address into H2R Layouts, the app. Hit connect, and there you go. I'm connected to my ATEM Mini Extreme. Now, if you have a bigger ATEM, you can choose to control other super sources, but on the Mini Extreme, I actually only have one, so I just have one selected right now. And from here, I can actually animate between the layouts. Now, if I turn that off, you'll notice that as I click on these layouts up here, it jumps to that layout on the actual ATEM Mini here jumping between these layouts. However, if I want, I can animate between them and um, I can choose speed as well. Now I'll just set it up for extra fast for now so you can see how that looks. And it really is quite zippy. It really moves things around. Maybe if your show is a little bit more uh, slow, medium paced, you might want to do something like this where it jumps in, jumps out nice and slowly. You can also set the easing here if you don't like the way that we've set it up for that ease in and ease out, slow movements. If you prefer something a little bit different, you can do that if you want. So now I've just loaded up my multi-view on the little preview screen here. And from there, of course, I'll just cut my show as I usually would. I can choose to set up this particular super source layout and I can cut to it. And I can also, since I can animate between these now, while it's on air, I can just animate to that super source layout and it looks really nice, really smooth. I'll just up the speed a little bit again, jump to this four box and say, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.